I want to share with you a powerful practice that can transform your life. How to ask the universe before you sleep to get anything you want. This technique harnesses the incredible power of your subconscious mind and the supportive energies of the universe. It's a simple yet profound way to manifest your desires effortlessly. Before we delve into the technique itself, let's understand a bit about the power we hold within us. Our subconscious mind is like a faithful servant. It accepts everything we tell it without judgment. This means that the thoughts we think and the words we speak shape our reality. When we align our thoughts and words with what we truly desire, miracles can unfold. Now let's talk about how you can ask the universe before you sleep to manifest your desires. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. To start manifesting what you want, the first step is to set a clear intention. This means knowing exactly what you want to bring into your life. It could be anything, a better health, more money, happy relationships, or achieving a specific goal. The key is to be very clear and specific about your desire. When you set a clear intention, you're essentially telling the universe what you want. It's like placing an order at a restaurant. You specify exactly what dish you want to be served. Similarly, in life, you need to specify what you want to experience or achieve. For example, if you want better health, don't just say, I want to be healthier. Instead, specify what that means to you. It could be, I am physically strong and energetic every day, or my body is vibrant and free from illness. When you're specific, you paint a clear picture in your mind and send a clear message to the universe. Visualize your intention as if it's already a reality in your life. Imagine how it would feel to have what you desire. See yourself living with better health, engaging in activities you love without any limitations, feeling strong and vital. Picture yourself enjoying financial abundance, seeing your bank account healthy and growing, being able to afford what you need and want without stress. When you visualize your intention as if it's already happening, you're activating the power of your imagination and your subconscious mind. Your mind doesn't distinguish between what's real and what's imagined. So when you vividly imagine yourself already living your desired reality, your mind starts to align with that vision. It's important to immerse yourself in this visualization process. Engage all your senses, see the details, hear the sounds associated with your desire, feel the emotions of joy and satisfaction as if you've already achieved your goal. The more real and vivid you make it in your mind, the more powerful your intention becomes. Setting a clear intention also involves being specific about the time frame and any other details that are important to you. If you want to achieve financial abundance, specify how much money you want to earn or save by when and what you plan to do with it. For relationships, define the qualities and dynamics you desire in your interactions with others. Write down your intention in a journal or on a piece of paper. This helps to solidify your commitment and reinforces the clarity of your desire. Use positive affirmations to affirm your intention. Repeat statements like, I am attracting abundance into my life, or I am experiencing vibrant health and vitality to reinforce your belief in what you want. Consistency is key in manifesting your intentions. Make it a habit to revisit and affirm your intention daily. This keeps your focus sharp and your energy aligned with what you want to manifest. You may choose to visualize your intention during meditation or before sleep when your mind is most receptive to positive suggestions. For example, if you want to improve your health, visualize yourself feeling vibrant and full of energy, see yourself engaging in activities that bring you joy and vitality, feel the emotions associated with this vision as if it's already your reality. As you prepare to fall asleep, it's beneficial to repeat a positive affirmation that relates to your intention. 
Affirmations act like seeds that you plant in the fertile soil of your subconscious mind. When you consistently nurture these affirmations, they begin to germinate and grow into the experiences and outcomes you desire in your life. Affirmations are simple statements that reflect what you want to manifest or achieve. They work by reshaping your thoughts and beliefs, influencing your subconscious mind to align with your goals. When you repeat affirmations regularly, especially just before sleep, you're leveraging the power of your mind during its most receptive state. Imagine your mind as a garden. Just like a gardener plants seeds in the soil and cares for them, affirmations are the seeds you plant in your subconscious. Each affirmation contains the potential to grow and flourish into a reality. The more you water these seeds with repetition and belief, the stronger they take root in your subconscious. The process of repeating affirmations before sleep is particularly effective because it capitalizes on your mind's natural transition into a relaxed and receptive state. As you lie in bed, your conscious mind begins to quiet down, allowing your subconscious to become more accessible. This is when affirmations can penetrate deeply into your subconscious programming. Choose affirmations that resonate deeply with your intention and goals. They should be positive, present tense statements that affirm what you want to experience or achieve. For instance, if your intention is to attract more abundance into your life, you might repeat affirmations such as, I am abundant in all areas of my life, or money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. The key to effective affirmations lies in their repetition and emotional resonance. When you repeat an affirmation, focus on feeling the emotions associated with achieving your goal. Visualize yourself already experiencing the desired outcome. Feel the joy, fulfillment, and gratitude as if it's happening right now. This emotional connection strengthens the impact of the affirmation on your subconscious mind. Consistency is crucial in the practice of affirmations. Make it a nightly ritual to repeat your chosen affirmation several times before drifting off to sleep. This consistent repetition helps to reinforce the new beliefs and programming you want to instill in your subconscious. It's normal for your conscious mind to question or doubt the affirmations initially. You may feel resistance or skepticism, especially if the desired outcome seems far from your current reality. However, persistence is key. Keep affirming even in the face of doubt. Over time, your subconscious mind starts to accept these affirmations as true, and they begin to shape your thoughts, actions, and experiences. As you integrate affirmations into your bedtime routine, you may notice subtle shifts in your thinking and behavior. You might find yourself naturally making choices and taking actions that align with your affirmations. This is because your subconscious mind is now working in harmony with your conscious desires. The process of affirming before sleep also enhances your overall mindset and mental well-being. It promotes a sense of positivity and empowerment, reducing stress and anxiety levels. By focusing on what you want to create in your life, Rather than dwelling on limitations or challenges, you cultivate a mindset of abundance and possibility. As you prepare to fall asleep, it's beneficial to visualize your desired outcome with clarity and detail. This practice involves imagining yourself living your ideal life, where everything is just as you've always wanted it to be. Picture the scenes vividly in your mind's eye, focusing on every aspect of your desired reality. Start by creating a mental image of your ideal life. See yourself in the situations you dream of, whether it's achieving a career milestone, living in your dream home, enjoying fulfilling relationships, or experiencing vibrant health. Visualize the details, what your surroundings look like, who is with you, and how you feel in that moment of success and happiness. 
Engage all your senses during this visualization process. Imagine what you would see, hear, touch, taste, and smell in your ideal scenario. If you dream of a successful career, visualize yourself in your office or workplace, surrounded by colleagues or clients congratulating you on your achievements. Hear the sounds of success, such as applause or positive feedback. Feel the textures around you, the smooth surface of your desk, the warmth of a handshake, or the comfort of your favorite chair. Emotions play a crucial role in visualization. As you imagine living your ideal life, allow yourself to feel the positive emotions associated with it. Feel the happiness bubbling within you, the gratitude for achieving your goals, and the deep sense of fulfillment that comes from living authentically and abundantly. Visualization is not just about creating a mental picture. It's about embodying the feelings of already having what you desire. Let the emotions of joy, contentment, and satisfaction wash over you as you visualize. This emotional connection strengthens your intention and sends a powerful message to your subconscious mind that this desired outcome is already yours. The power of visualization lies in its ability to program your subconscious mind. When you consistently visualize your desired outcomes before sleep, you're reinforcing positive beliefs and expectations about what is possible for you. This process builds neural pathways in your brain that support the manifestation of your goals and aspirations. Visualizing before sleep is particularly effective because it harnesses the natural transition between wakefulness and sleep. During this time, your subconscious mind is highly receptive to suggestions and imagery. By filling your mind with positive thoughts and images, you set the stage for your subconscious to work on manifesting these desires while you sleep. It's important to practice visualization with a sense of belief and expectancy. Trust that what you are visualizing is already on its way to you. This trust enhances the effectiveness of your practice and aligns your energy with the vibration of your desires. Consistency is key when it comes to visualization. Make it a nightly ritual to engage in this practice before you sleep. Repetition strengthens the neural pathways associated with your desired outcomes, making it easier for you to naturally align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with the reality you wish to create. Once you've set your intention, affirmed what you want, and pictured it clearly in your mind, it's important to let go of any strong attachment to the outcome. This step involves trusting that the universe is actively working on your behalf to bring your desires into reality in the most ideal timing and manner. Releasing attachment doesn't mean giving up on your desires or losing hope. Instead, it means allowing things to unfold naturally without clinging to a specific outcome. When you release attachment, you surrender the need to control every detail and instead, you trust in the wisdom and timing of the universe. Attachment to outcomes often stems from fear or doubt. Fear that things won't work out as desired, or doubt about whether you truly deserve what you're asking for. These emotions can create resistance and block the flow of manifestation. By letting go of attachment, you release this resistance and allow the energy to flow freely towards your desires. Trust is a key component of releasing attachment. Trust that the universe is infinitely wise and knows the perfect timing for everything. Trust that your intentions have been heard and are being worked upon behind the scenes. This trust comes from a place of faith and knowing that everything is unfolding as it should. When you release attachment, you open yourself up to possibilities and opportunities that you may not have considered. You become more flexible and adaptable to changes along the way. Sometimes what you receive may be even better than what you originally envisioned because the universe has a broader perspective of what's possible for you. 
Releasing attachment also allows you to maintain a sense of inner peace and contentment. Instead of constantly worrying about whether your desires will manifest or not, you cultivate a mindset of acceptance and patience. You recognize that the journey towards your desires is just as important as reaching the destination. Practicing mindfulness can help in releasing attachment. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment without judgment. It helps you observe your thoughts and emotions without getting entangled in them. When you notice attachment arising, gently remind yourself to let go and trust in the process. Let go of any doubts or fears. Surrender to the process and have faith that what you've asked for is already on its way to you. This act of surrender allows the universe to orchestrate events and opportunities in alignment with your desires. Before you drift into deep sleep, take a moment to express gratitude for the manifestation of your desires. Gratitude holds a special power. It acts like a magnet, drawing more blessings into your life. When you feel genuine thankfulness, as if your desire has already come true, you align your energy with the universe in a powerful way. Gratitude is not just a polite gesture, it's a profound practice that shifts your mindset from scarcity to abundance. By acknowledging and appreciating what you already have and what you expect to receive, you create a positive vibration that resonates with the universe's energy. This resonance attracts similar positive experiences and opportunities into your life. When we vibrate at a higher frequency, we attract more of what we desire into our lives. One of the most powerful tools we have at our disposal is the practice of affirmations. Affirmations are like seeds planted in the garden of our mind. With patience and consistency, they blossom into beautiful realities. When you speak affirmations, speak them as if they are already true. Feel the energy of those words pulsating through every cell of your being. Let me share some of my favorite affirmations with you. Affirmations are not just words. They are energetic declarations that shape our reality. As you repeat these affirmations daily, you will begin to notice subtle shifts in your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Meditation is like a superpower for making yourself feel better. It's a really cool way to calm down your busy thoughts and tune into the quiet wisdom inside of you. When you meditate, you create a peaceful space where you can just be without any distractions or worries. One of the best things about meditation is that it's super easy to do. You don't need any fancy equipment or special skills. All you need is yourself and a quiet place to sit or lie down. You can close your eyes or keep them open, whatever feels most comfortable for you. The idea is to focus on your breath and let go of all the chatter in your mind. It might seem tricky at first, but with a little practice you'll get the hang of it. And trust me, the benefits are totally worth it. When you quiet your mind through meditation, you create space for clarity, insight, and inspiration to flow in. It's like turning down the volume on all the noise in your head so you can hear the gentle whispers of your inner voice. And let me tell you, that inner voice is full of wisdom and guidance that can help you navigate through life's ups and downs. But meditation isn't just about receiving guidance from within, it's also about connecting with something greater than yourself. Some people call it the universe, others call it God or spirit or higher power. Whatever you want to call it, the important thing is that meditation helps you tap into that divine energy and feel connected to something bigger than yourself. And here's the really cool part. When you're connected to that higher power, you become a channel for love, peace, and positivity to flow into the world. It's like you're plugging into a source of infinite wisdom and love, and you can share that energy with everyone around you. Moving your body is really great for making yourself feel good. 
Whether you're stretching in yoga, grooving to your favorite tunes, or taking a stroll outside, getting up and moving around can lift your mood and make you feel more alive. When you move, your body releases all kinds of good stuff, like endorphins, which are chemicals that make you feel happy and positive. So even if you're feeling a bit down or tired, just a little bit of movement can help perk you right up. Yoga is a super awesome way to move your body and raise your vibration. It's all about stretching, breathing, and finding balance, both physically and mentally. Plus, it's a great way to quiet your mind and tune into your inner self. Even just a few minutes of yoga each day can make a big difference in how you feel. If yoga isn't your thing, that's totally okay. There are lots of other ways to get moving and raise your vibration. Dancing is one of my personal favorites. There's something about moving to the rhythm of music that just feels so good. You don't have to be a professional dancer. Just let loose and have fun with it. Dance like nobody's watching. It's really important to remember to be kind to yourself. That means treating yourself the way you would treat a good friend, with love, understanding, and respect. Taking care of yourself, both inside and out, is called self-care and it's super important for your well-being. So, how do you practice self-love and self-care? Well, it's all about doing things that make you feel happy, healthy, and good about yourself. Just like you would take care of a plant by watering it and giving it sunlight, you need to take care of yourself too. Start by doing things that bring you joy and make you feel good. Maybe that means spending time with loved ones, playing your favorite game, or going for a walk in nature. Whatever it is, make sure it's something that makes you smile and fills your heart with happiness. Taking care of your body is also really important. That means eating nutritious foods, getting enough sleep, and staying active. When you fuel your body with healthy food and give it the rest and exercise it needs, you'll feel stronger, more energized, and ready to take on the world. But self-care isn't just about taking care of your body. It's also about taking care of your mind and soul. That might mean practicing mindfulness or meditation to calm your mind and reduce stress. It could also mean spending time doing things that make you feel creative or inspired, like painting, writing, or listening to music. And don't forget to be kind to yourself when things don't go as planned. We all make mistakes and face challenges from time to time, and that's okay. Instead of being hard on yourself, try to show yourself the same compassion and understanding you would show a friend. Remember, you're doing the best you can, and that's something to be proud of. One of the best ways to make yourself feel good is by doing nice things for other people. When we help others without wanting anything back, it makes us feel happy inside. This feeling spreads like ripples in water. It means that when we do something kind, it doesn't just affect that person, it affects lots of other people too. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond and watching the ripples go out in all directions. Think about it like this. Imagine you see someone who needs help carrying their groceries and you offer to lend a hand. That person feels grateful, right? But it doesn't stop there. Maybe they go home feeling happier and more positive. Then they might be nicer to their family or friends, spreading that good feeling to them. And who knows, maybe one of those friends then decides to help someone else and the chain of kindness continues. It's like a wave of happiness that keeps growing and spreading. This ripple effect of love and positivity doesn't just stay in one place. It travels far and wide, touching the lives of countless people. And the beautiful thing is, it all starts with a simple act of kindness. When we give from our heart without expecting anything in return, we become part of something bigger than ourselves. We become agents of change, spreading love and positivity wherever we go. And the best part? 
we get to experience the joy and fulfillment that comes from making a positive difference in the world. Raising your vibration is not just a one-time event. It's a lifelong journey of growth and self-discovery. We constantly chase after something external, whether it's success, love, or happiness. We're operating from a place of lack. We're telling ourselves that we don't already have what we desire, and so we must tirelessly pursue it. But what if I told you that everything you seek is already within you? What if I told you that by simply aligning with the essence of who you truly are, you can effortlessly attract all that you desire into your life? You know, sometimes we think success is all about chasing after things outside of ourselves. But guess what? The real secret to success isn't about running after stuff. It's about finding peace and love inside yourself. So instead of always looking outside for success, take some time to look inside. Cultivate that feeling of peace and love within you. Imagine it like planting seeds in a garden. When you water those seeds with love and kindness, they start to grow big and strong. When you're full of peace and love, it's like you're a magnet for success. You don't even have to try hard. It just comes to you naturally. People are drawn to your positive energy and opportunities seem to fall into your lap. Think about it like this. When you're happy and content on the inside, you're more open to all the good things the universe has to offer. It's like you're saying to the world, I'm ready for whatever comes my way. And here's the best part. You don't have to wait for success to find you. You can start cultivating that inner peace and love right now. Take a few deep breaths, close your eyes, and imagine yourself surrounded by love and abundance. Feel that warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart. In my teachings and writings, I often speak about the power of our thoughts and words. What we affirm to ourselves on a daily basis shapes our reality. So instead of chasing after success, start affirming to yourself that you are already successful. Every morning as you wake up, look into the mirror and repeat affirmations such as, I am successful. I am worthy of all the abundance life has to offer. I attract success effortlessly. By doing so, you're reprogramming your subconscious mind to align with the reality you wish to create. Another essential aspect of attracting success is practicing radical self-love and self-care. When you prioritize your well-being and honor your needs, you send a powerful message to the universe that you deserve all the blessings that life has to offer. Gratitude is like magic for making good things happen in your life. It's simple but powerful. Every day, take a little time to think about all the good stuff you already have. Maybe it's the people who care about you, like your family and friends, or maybe it's the beauty of the world around you, like the trees, the sky, or the flowers. Even the little things count, like a warm cup of tea on a chilly morning or a friendly smile from a stranger. When you focus on these good things and say thanks for them, you're opening up the door for even more good stuff to come your way. It's like planting seeds of happiness in your heart. The more you plant, the more they grow. So make gratitude a habit. You can write in a journal, say thanks out loud, or just think about all the things you're grateful for. However you do it, just make sure to do it every day. And here's the really cool part. When you're grateful for what you have, it's like sending a message to the universe. You're saying, hey, I appreciate all this good stuff in my life. And the universal, being the Awasom place that it is, wants to send you even more good stuff to be grateful for. Visualization is like using your imagination to make your dreams come true. It's a super cool trick that anyone can do. Here's how it works. Every day, take a little time to picture yourself living your dream life. Maybe you're chilling on a sunny beach, or maybe you're rocking it on stage in front of a huge crowd. Whatever your dream is, see it in your mind like it's happening right now. But here's the fun part. Don't just see it. Feel it, too. Imagine how awesome it would feel to be living your dream. 
Maybe you're smiling from ear to ear, or maybe you're doing a happy dance. Whatever it is, feel those good vibes deep down in your bones. When you do this, you're telling the universe, hey, this is what I want. It's like sending out a big clear message that says, I'm ready for all the good stuff. And guess what? The universe is always listening. So when it hears your message, it starts working behind the scenes to make your dreams a reality. Now you might be thinking, but how do I know if it's working? Well, here's the thing. The universe doesn't always work on our timetable. Sometimes it takes a little while for things to happen, but that's okay. Just keep visualizing, keep feeling those good vibes, and trust that the universe is doing its thing. And here's a little secret. The more you visualize, the easier it gets. It's like flexing a muscle. You get stronger the more you use it. So don't be afraid to dream big and visualize often. You never know what amazing things might come your way. Finally, it's time to release any thoughts that make you feel small. These are the beliefs or words that say things like, I can't do it or I'm not good enough. They're like heavy chains holding you back. But guess what? You have the power to break free from them. First, let's talk about limiting beliefs. These are ideas that tell you what you can't do or what you're not capable of. Maybe someone once told you that you'll never succeed, or maybe you've just started to believe it yourself. Well, it's time to kick those beliefs to the curb. You are capable of so much more than you think. Negative self-talk is another biggie. This is when you say mean things to yourself like, I'm stupid or I'll never be good enough. Ouch. That kind of talk doesn't do anyone any favors. It's like planting weeds in your garden instead of flowers. So let's pull out those weeds and plant some beautiful thoughts instead. Now let's talk about what to replace those limiting beliefs and negative thoughts with. We're talking about thoughts that make you feel strong, confident, and empowered. These are the thoughts that say, I can do anything I set my mind to, or I am worthy of all the good things in life. It might feel a bit weird at first, like trying on a new pair of shoes, but the more you practice, the more natural it will feel. You'll start to believe in yourself in a whole new way. And guess what? That's when the magic happens. Imagine waking up in the morning and feeling excited about the day ahead. You're ready to take on any challenge that comes your way because you know deep down that you've got what it takes. That's the power of confidence and empowerment.